Polio virus has been detected in New York and London. What does that mean? And what will it take to eradicate polio from the planet? Hello and welcome to Science in 5. I'm Vismita Gupta-Smith. We are talking today to Dr. Zubair Wadud. Welcome, Zubair. Zubair, let's start with what does it mean to detect polio virus in New York and London? Thank you, Vasmita. So, polio virus has been detected in uh, New York and London uh, in these high-income countries. Uh, uh, in London, uh, the detection is only in the sewage system, while in New York, it's in the sewage system, as well as, unfortunately, also led to a paralytic polio case. Uh, what it means is that polio virus is transmitting in these communities, and it's commendable to note that uh, public health authorities in these places are taking a appropriate strong actions to stop the transmission of polio virus and strengthen uh, surveillance, especially focusing on the high-risk population subgroups. Uh, now taking a step back and uh, looking at these events in perspective of the global polio eradication efforts. Uh, Indeed, from a scientific perspective, these kind of events do not represent a make or break for the global polio eradication effort. The global polio eradication effort and its success would actually bank a lot on the progress in the two remaining uh, endemic polio reservoirs in the world, that is Pakistan uh, and Afghanistan. Events like London and New York uh, represent a glimpse or uh, just a reminder for us that uh, uh, polio can resurface anywhere in the world until and unless it is eradicated uh, from the entire globe and Pakistan and Afghanistan remain the highest priority when it comes to polio eradication uh, gl global effort. Zubair, most of the world has eradicated polio. Why does it keep appearing in different countries? When it comes to Pakistan and Afghanistan, uh, it's very encouraging to see that there is a lot of progress over the last two years. Uh, in Pakistan, although uh, the new polio cases are on the increase in 2022, uh, however, uh, these polio cases are being reported from a small geographical area in one of the provinces in the country. Uh, in Afghanistan as well, uh, uh, more than 3 million children who were previously not consistently reached with polio vaccine uh, are now being offered polio vaccine quite regularly over the last year or, or so, which is a great progress. Uh, having said that, uh, uh, polio virus is still managing to transmit and circulate in, in some uh, parts of Pakistan and Afghanistan. And until and unless uh, uh, this transmission is stopped, polio will continue uh, to, to surface uh, here and there. And we have seen uh, in late 2021 and in 2022, uh, polio virus importation into Southeast Africa. And now we are seeing uh, uh, polio virus transmission detected in places like New York and London. It all reiterates that uh, uh, the last strongholds of polio virus in Pakistan and Afghanistan uh, uh, need to be addressed and, and polio virus transmission needs to be uh, stopped there until and unless we achieve that, the polio virus will continue uh, to, to appear in uh, different parts of the world given the ongoing population movement. Zubair, speak to us about what it will take to eradicate polio from the planet. To achieve success now for polio eradication is a matter of political and societal will. Uh, we know what it takes to eradicate polio. We have the strategies. Uh, the biological and technical feasibility of polio eradication has been completely established. But it's a matter of appropriately and strongly implementing those uh, strategies. Uh, now, it's very heartening to see that uh, political fora like G7, uh, G8, Commonwealth countries uh, uh, as well as uh, World Health Assembly fully recognize the current opportunity uh, but this window of opportunity is not going to be open forever and it takes to be uh, it needs to be taken uh, and utilized very efficiently smartly and and quickly uh, Rotary International and Rotarians across the world are engaging with the, the governments of the polio affected countries and donor countries uh, uh, societies are being mobilized uh, there is a pledging moment coming up uh, uh, next month in October uh, very generously co-hosted by uh, the government of Germany. What the success means is no child ever paralyzed by polio virus anywhere in the world, while the failure would mean tens of thousands of polio cases over the coming years uh, with a lot of economic impacts as well.
If we fail, we cannot point towards medical and technical issues. It will be only because of the lack of political and societal will. So let us put our hands together and give this last push to eradicate polio from the planet and give our generations to come a healthy future free of polio. Thank you, Zubair. That was Science in 5 today. Until next time then, stay safe, stay healthy and stick with science.